Hello, 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 hello. How are we all? I'm going to try and keep uh, keep the volume down today because I don't want my wife to shout at me again <laughs> because I'm making too noise and wake too much noise and make, waking the baby up. Making too noise. <sighs> yeah, it's been one of those days. Brain no words function. I'm just pouring myself a drink and then we should get straight into it. Let's go. At Ramo, 707, hello to you. Dion, no, hello. Jonathan Driesen, hello. Uh, Jonathan Driesen, oh, Snail Master, yes. Uh, Sandemo, hello to you. Um, uh, stream was supposed to start like seven minutes ago, so sorry. Hello to Bartnard and hello to Steek. Uh, um, Daniel Callan, Matthew T. Hello to y both of you. Um, I think that's everybody. Yes. Hello. I got to sleep and now I'm here. <laughs> Jonathan Lesnail. I uh, gotcha. Today's beverage is Tesco own brand cheap imitation Vimto. Ben, hello to you. Good to see you, Dion, though. Um, right, I'm just going to turn over quickly back a couple of pages because I have actually gone and installed a couple more mods. I have installed DCK by popular demand. Um, yeah, I got. I, I saw that in your. Uh, I saw that in your uh, your message, uh, Sander. Ooh, I should pop on to the Discord and do, uh, do, do, do streaming now. Uh, wrong chat. Point is putting that in. That's better. Right, so we've seen today's um, Today's uh, thumbnail craft, that's by Dustin in Space. That's the Saab 35 Draken, or Draken. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Um, it's a pretty good craft. What shall I put that up against? Hmm. I think today's lineup is all, is all pretty strong, and I think that's... Um, we'll, we'll just go down the list. We'll just go down the list. It's the fairest way. So the next one on the list is by Ben Aaron. It's the S1 Watsman Mark 6D. KOS name tag. Right. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. We'll get around to the S1 Watsman a little bit later. Yes, this is my first time appearing at the start of a stream. Good stuff. My car can compatible can you load it so i can change if there's a problem um i'm using the latest version of bd armor it should be fine um quickly then uh do 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 k k is for kitmaster which i've now gone straight past uh there we go the kitmaster mark 11 I threw my latest craft just now. I saw, I did see, I've picked I picked out two from your list, basically the ones I like the name the I like the uh, sound of the name, the X the SU58 uh, Devils what's it what you may call it. Yeah, that's fine. That is f uh that's fine, Aramo. Um and yeah, I've just I've just put the uh, the XF Cool Ranch on there as well cuz uh yeah, you sent that to me and I like the I like the name of the sound I like the name of the sound. Uh <sighs> want to buy a new brain. Um from a couple of last stream or a couple of streams again last stream. Space Doge sent me a couple that we couldn't actually use because I didn't have DCK installed ISF twenty two Raptor. Um, I can't remember which version was... I'm going to have to quickly check. Uh, 
ISF Raptor, which was sent to me earliest. Hmm. I think the Raptor knew was yeah. I think the Raptor knew was the one that wouldn't work. Oh, Space Doge's craft. So I'm actually going to use that one, and also we have uh, Ben Aaron's X5 to get to if we have a little bit of time. Uh, Charles Alsp. Uh, okay, is it mobile this game? Uh, I, I don't think you can. Um, it's a Kerbal Space Program. I don't think you can get the mobile version. You can get a console version. Yeah, so we'll we'll go with the ISF twenty two against the uh, the Saab J thirty five, and then we will just carry on down the list. As usual, Ghosty Carmen first up into the Adam Henderson. Hello, a mobile version of Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> oh God, imagine the imagine the system requirements on your phone. Okay, Charles, good to see you. Take care. Uh, PlayStation 4. Yeah, I think you can get Xbox as well. Um, if you prefer the uh, prefer the non BD Armory games, there will be uh, sort of non KSP stuff. There will be another one next week. I'm not sure what I'll be playing yet. I hope it was. I hope it was. This is this is the right one. I hope this isn't the one I used last time. Back in a minute. Uh, can you stream soon on Rocket League? Um, yeah, I want I want to start as I mentioned last stream. I wanted to start doing like a regular games night type thing. You know where we get the uh, where we where we do get the uh, do get the subscribers more involved. So uh, I'll I'll have to expedite that. It might be a little while because I want to get a little further um, with the first place streams. I mean, I could do something. Hmm. Hello there! I'm free five then it's like I'm going to go involuntary exothermic reaction. Mmm. <laughs> Thank you back. Hello there. Thank you very much for the two euros. Very kind. Yes, as before, just uh, as a quick note, we do have Super Chat enabled. There are also the PayPal and Patreon links in the description if you want to help support the channel. You too can get your own little Patreon Kerbal if you want to, as do Ghosty and Josh and a whole bunch of other people. That's not what I wanted to click, that's what I wanted to click. Vessel switch, oh, let's get this all sorted out here. You down here, you, yeah, about there. You about there. Uh, do, 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 do. You, that looks better. Um, and then let's spawn some more vessels. Yes, anyway, that, that was my little rattling of the tin. Um, so that was that will be it for the moment. I can only do it hundred, but I can't. Sorry. Bye. I'll see you later then, Charles. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, having the money to just donate a hundred dollars to somebody. Oh, that would be nice. Seventy-seven parts. Yes, because these didn't have these weren't very chocker block on the old countermeasures. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, you get a lovely view from that cockpit, I'd imagine. Um... Mm. I tell you what we're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you what we're going to do here. We're just going to have to go back. We're going to have to load in the Saab first, because obviously that's from the craft which doesn't like Vessel Mover. So this is going to take a little moment. KSP if Bethesda made it. <laughs> 
Oh, harsh, harsh, but true. Harsh, but so very, very true. Do, 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 do. I'm not sure if anybody uh, here from the UK was uh, was watching television tonight, but um, uh, Moonraker was on. Let's get ghost. Yeah, we'll get we'll get the Sarbs out first. I'll just have to wangle this. I'm back. Hello, welcome back, Dion. Um, and right at right at the end of Moonraker, I'm not. You, you must have seen. Um, you must have seen Moonraker. I don't know. Maybe maybe with my audience, it's a little bit of an old movie. But oh god, the Roger Moore James Bond era. So hideously politically incorrect. Although it does it does have. It does have. Um, I have a YouTube channel. Ooh, uh, do do let us know. Are you on the Are you on the Discord, Charles? Uh, right. So now we need to go back to the space center. Yeah, Jonathan is 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 snail master. And we've got to do that again. This is this is what happens if if your craft don't don't like um, vessel movers for some reason. Okay, um, feel free to uh, to is oh that that will it'll be a username though, won't it? Hello, I'm clever. Do, 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 do. I am just going to look that up. Minecraft and Roblox and um, and a lot of and a lot of um, Rocket League. That's what I was trying to say. Mm. I'm actually ten. Nice. Keep going. Keep going. I haven't seen any of your videos, but you know the whole thing with YouTube is you keep going, you get better, you build your audience. And a gaming channel is is a long, slow ride. It is a grind, unless you're super talented, which some people quite annoyingly are. But yeah, just keep going with it. Anyway, what was I saying? Moonraker, Moonraker, that 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 right at the end, that V line, V line of all the all all of Roger Moore's, all of the Roger Moore films. <laughs> I think he's attempting re-entry, sir. Oh dear. I mean, Rick is a cool movie, a more humorous than the usual James Bond. Hello, Titan! Titan RT, hello to you! Uh, oh god, it's 20 past and we still haven't gotten to the death and destruction yet. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, that's a switch. Uh, now, hopefully. Place you without the uh, without the old glitchy glitchy. And now we can spawn in Space Doge's uh, thing. Maybe don't reveal your age on the internet when you're that young. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm reminded of an episode of South Park. Cartman. Um, Eric Cartman, an eight-year-old boy, goes online looking for older friends. And yeah, if you if you've seen the scene, if you've seen this, oh man, oh man. <laughs> Ooh, um, ISF. Again, that's one of those things. Um. South Park, it's one of those things that's just, you know, it's starting to show its age, moving on to different audience now. 
just the windows coming up number of window chat windows coming up it's just ah dear hmm why can I not yeah you've got that and that Why won't you let me do that? Oh, for goodness sake. Why is there nobody on there? Oh. Right. I have hyper edit. How do I despawn this using hyper edit? Shitlander. Ugh. Do you think we could just ignore that? Do you think we could just pretend that isn't there for a fight? I think we might have to get moving and actually place the rest of these vessels quickly. Didn't let me choose the crew. <sighs> Why are you not letting me choose the crew? 24 minutes, still no death and destruction. No, really, 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 I do. There we go. That's what was wrong. Why did that... I haven't changed... Did I click on something? Did I press some weird button? I thought I ran out of internet. Oops, a daisy. Everybody's stream good now. Thank you. Ion Kerman. I don't know what was happening. Ha ha happening? Happening. Uh, as I said, one of those days. I don't know what's happening to the uh, the bit rate there. I'm not sure if just the computer doing its thing was causing yeah don't know if the computer doing its thing suddenly just my computer just went uh, <coughs> this is going to take me a while OBS is going to is going to have to take second place for a moment Time to look like Smith was vaping something. Not at the moment, but maybe later. Okay. Could it be? Could it possibly be that after that? Sodding Palava, we are finally ready to get fighting. Uh, battle damage on? 
battle damage. Yeah. Let's turn the leak duration down. Right, and yeah, let's get going. And a little just shower of chaff there just to celebrate the fact that the stream is finally underway. The uh, the two cheater engines there and gain altitude 500 meters. You're going to need a hand there, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. So will Ghosty Carmen. By the looks of things. Yeah, if you're designing a, a, a vessel, ugh, if I can get the sodding words out today. If you're designing a vessel, it is good to put the like the minimum altitude down to about like 250 most, and our first fight finally starts. Oh. Huh. Oh, I remember those ones you have to press the thing to actually get the missiles to fire. Weapons bay, weapons bay, weapons bay, weapons bay, weapons bay. Does anyone remember what, what buttons space those that I had to press? It's just going to be one of those streams, isn't it? Just my ability to talk, my inability to talk. Well, there we go. That's a perfect example. <laughs> Planes just... <laughs> yeah, just sending Vessel Mover and the entire KSP into... <sighs> into spasms. Uh... Don't press 8 again. That is very, very important. It is very, very important that I do not press 8 again. So far, 40. Thank you very much. 14 likes. That is, uh, that's really good. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, half an hour now. Still no dogfight. One and two. That doesn't do anything. Three, four, five. I'm assuming these need to deploy as well. I'm just going to do them manually like that. Is that is that going to be enough? I mean, there are Amrams like right there in the middle. How can they? Okay. I I'm up for it, I suppose. There's a rotation servo. Let's figure this out together. That's why it was getting a bit funny.
Then press 8. Don't press 9 either. Service, normal service will be resumed shortly. Space Toge. <laughs> Knife to Space Toge. <laughs> oh, bless him. Bless his little cons. I'm so sorry, Space Toge. I am probably butchering this. Because there were two buttons you had to press. I'm just going to go through, press everything once except 8 and 9. You know, and then just just if they, if they keep blowing up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen with the X five. Now I've already pressed everything, haven't I? that one six seven zero I have pressed everything so if they blow up again just where is Tom R I have no idea again you're gonna want to come up a bit again you're gonna want to come up a bit I like these craft, I do. They're not great turners. They could do with a little bit more in that department. But uh, yeah, I think a little bit of rebalancing required that I did have to go and empty out some of the fuel. They did have a ridiculous amount of fuel when I first loaded them up. But they're nice looking craft. And the competition starts. Please tell me, please tell me you can get a missile away So congratulations to Dustin in space and his Saab J35 Draken. An incredible win there and much deserved. Moving on. really 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 gonna be one of those streams Right, moving on. Sorry, Dustin, your, your, your Saab didn't really get much of an outing there, but unfortunately we have to move on and we are not going to... We are not going to get through everything at this rate. So, yes. Next up, Ben Aaron's S1 Watsman, and I'm going to put that against Snowmaster's SU-58 Devil's Thingy. Not Devil's Thingy, obviously, that's not the name of the craft. But I just I just had to fit things on a page, and I've just written S58 Devil's dot dot dot, so... Uh, that's the one. Yeah, I, I don't I don't care. Chaos name tag. That does not sound like I'm missing a vitally important mod. So, uh, everybody else has had. Let's go, Luna Kerman.
it just I don't know it just it does strike me as the sort of mod that's that's not absolutely vital ah oh that's what I did so when I was moving this I clicked on the window and that got rid of that's what caused the problems with the foot ah you see got my PC and would love to send in some grommets to get the hang of BDM. Spartanicus, hello to you, and I would very, very much... Yes. Please, please do. All are welcome. Uh, spawn vessel. The ground missiles can act like bombs with propellant. That's kind of a very good point. He said makes it go wrong in every way. You still. Oh. Uh. Spawn it. Please change the fire interval to one on the weapon manager. Okay. Um, I'm spawning the SU-58. Oh, well, well, I was about to ask you. So, if that, is that the one you meant? But I can just check anyway, can't I? Devil's Grail. Not the slightly naughtier name of Devil's Thingy. It's gone back to default. Firing interval down to one. Vessel mover. Spawn vessel. Burst length zero. Not sure that was intentional either. What's a good burst length for a craft, guys? And Josh Cameron. Firing interval burst length should go for one point three. Yeah, zero didn't strike me as, as, as hideously sensible. Get rid of vessel mover. So yes, Ben Aaron's S1 Watsman versus Snail Masters SU-58 Devil's Grail. Uh, the S1 Watsman Mark 6D. Uh, quick save. Now our second fight of the stream actually begins, and hopefully this one will actually be a fight. How are you getting on? Uh, another one that's going to require a little bit of assistance to get up to 500 meters. But apart from that, oh, the uh, the Devil's Grail going for um, quite a high default altitude. Wow, really going for a high default altitude. This is a must be a pretty light craft. How? Uh, it started. It started. 
it's not an incredibly light load of missiles, light load of fuel. I must be just be um, 18 missiles per target. <laughs> Get them on the back foot. Get them on the back foot and keep them there. Only problem is if your opponents can actually dodge all those missiles, then it's it's not so good news. Three missiles per target. Another interesting uh, interesting take on the tactic. Both craft seem amply able to dodge. Come around the the Su 58s improbably still have missiles to to um to launch. Not anymore though. And the sound bug strikes again. Uh, oh, oh my word! Ghosty coming, trying to dodge a lot of gunfire. It's not looking like great news for him. Comes around. It looks like a bit of a joust. It's a joust. It's a hand. It's a hand kill. It looks like. No, I think the Watsmans came off relatively unscathed. Steak coming, putting guns into one of the Su 58s. Yes. And Ghosty Kerman's SU-58 gets, having taken a heavy hit, literally from one of the uh, from one of the Watsmans, gets shredded by gunfire. And now Josh Kerman is looking like he's in a sorry way. We can see battle damage going on there. Oh my, oh my word, oh my dear, that is that's not good news. It's another hand-to-hand -hand hit. Damn, Ben, these craft are nuts. Josh Kerman just flying slowly and backwards towards the ground. These craft have any fuel? No, I think the, the fuel tanks have been drained by battle damage. Oh, that is that is harsh. That is incredibly harsh. Sandemer, it's it's on the list. It's it's. Where are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve on the list, and it's number ten. A little bit of patience, please. Dread Pirate Lenny, hello. Randa Ped, Randa Ped, I said hello to you. I can't remember. Well, hey, hello to you if I haven't. Fifteen views, fifteen, uh, fifteen views, sixteen likes. Thank you very much for that. Um, it's been absolutely wrecked. The S1s have zero chill. Absolutely zero chill. That was, that was, yeah. Moving on, uh, MRJ20. I do have some more craft from Snail Master, but obviously I like to try and get through at least one from everybody first. Uh, yes, Dion No. Dion No is next on the list. MRJ24 Don Chad Hmm MRJ24 just uh, I might because Action sent me one but apparently that is yeah I think I need to um, be a bit more selective with the opponent for Action's craft because yeah it's it's yeah <laughs> so where are we yeah we'll do the MRJ24 we'll send that up against Steak's craft I think where did we get to with the, um, I think we did Ghost and Joss and that eye on Kerman. I don't have my pet crab in Discord bot game. <laughs> it's simple design, but it's clean and sleek and I really like it. It's not, it looks good, yeah. Yes, 13 is currently Ubis, but I don't want to send that in yet. Fair enough. Let me go ahead and tweak my planes, yes. Yes, the zoom tube theory of aerodynamic design. <laughs> Ah, oh dear. Mm. 
bricks on. Best one mover. Move you down there. Get you over here. Is that? That's a panther. A single panther. Place vessel. Spawn vessel. KSP Forest Craft might dominate everything here. Um I think I think I think Titan RT might might have word might want to have a word with you about that one, Matthew. Crab Rave. <laughs> uh yeah, MRJ twenty four. And leg of lack come on. Leg of lack's been quiet tonight, you're still there. Now if we take leg of lack or titan into account, I'm pretty sure that is not that true. Yeah, I don't yeah. And the fairy swordfish. Where is Steak's fairy swordfish? It was right there. And Luna Kerman. You plan to send a somewhat 747 blame, but it's too fat to dogfight. The prototype 36 would like to know your location. Oh! Are we, are we going to do modern jet versus um, modern jet versus <laughs> versus biplane? <laughs> Might have to leave in a bit because I don't. That's that's fine. That's fine. I think. Um, Guns only. Huh. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do <laughs> Steak, I like your style. This is what the mailbag's for, right? Jet versus biplane, I think does not go well. Oh, it reminds me of the time early on when I was designing craft. I made myself some test drones. They just had guns and no missiles. And they had a fair few um, countermeasures on them to dodge missiles. And they just ended up... I mean, they were really simple. Ridiculously simple craft. Uh, does it have countermeasures? We will. We will find out soon. Let's not look. Let's just let's just make it. Let's just have it as a nice surprise. Hello, Jacob. Jacob Sivertson. Steak. Can you jettison the missile? I might. I might actually. Yeah, we might do that. Make it a, an actual proper gunfight. But no, those those little ridiculously simple low part drones, which I just stuck together, and it's it, they used to just kill everything I put up against them. Basically, because my craft would be trying to go in with missiles, and these things would just dodge missiles quite well with irritating ease. Yeah, I think I will. Uh, let's quick save this just in case this goes wrong. I think we'll make this a gunfight. Clunk. I think everything's okay though. Clunk. Okay. Just the sidewinders, nothing damaged really.
Just the sidewinders, nothing else. Clunk. Clunk. Quick save. Because God knows what's going to happen here. Okay. Start competition. The fairy swordfish are off and away. Sorry, no, the, the, the MJ, RJ24s are off and away. The fairy swordfish... I forgot to put teams on, didn't I? These are nice craft, though. These are really nice craft. I do like the way... What's the default altitude on these? Because it's not much. Where are the other craft? They're up there. Biplane sounds like make for an awesome fight. Guess we defend the solutions. Hello to you. Can be eight kilometers before the middle of my day. Ah oh, dear. Competition starting. Don't check. Ooh, a little bit of instability there. Mega Black Kerman's craft, though, is straight onto it. Bearing down. Bearing down on one of the uh, one of the swordfishes. Oh, the shockwave's forming. Luna Kerman. Lining up the guns. Actually is getting shots away. That's bad news for one of the fairy swordfishes. Luna Kerman was getting shots away on one of the one of the MRJ twenty fours. But yeah. Ooh, a little bit of battle damage there as well. Oh, it has a tail gunner! It actually has a tail gunner. It actually managed to down one of the one of the MRJ 24s and do some hefty damage on the other one. I mean, okay, it did have a turret, but it was a jet versus a biplane. I have no idea what they're doing. Milanese Aerospace Division. Hello to you. Sorry, I didn't spot you there. And just as the MRJ 24 runs out of fuel. This is one of the ones where, miraculously, Legged Lack Kerman has actually survived the fight. <laughs> anyway, yes. A draw in my box. <laughs> Alright, we'll call it a draw. Uh, anyway. Ion, hello to you! It's the swordfish one in spirit. Diamond Got, hello! Ah. I'll write that on a, on a calendar and make, make, make it, mark it a holiday. Uh, I got a craft from Luna. Hmm. That's uh that's a healthy cluster of missiles you've got going on there. I'm very impressed with that result. Me too. This is the X01. Hmm. Yeah. I mean that really is that's 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 um, 
really close to that SU-47 design. That is just beautiful. Anyway, yes. I think, yeah, we did. Do, 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 do. So this will be Ghosty and Josh in these craft again. It does. Uh, Ion and Luna sort of very much they do make some ridiculously good looking craft uh, sort of masters of the procedural wings I suppose Luna, would that make Luna a mistress of the procedural wings? Luna's X01, and that will be going up against Randa Ped's contribution for today. X01. I'll get Josh Kerman. I'm just going through the list of, of, of subscriber Kerbals. I'm not going to worry too much about who gets put into whose craft. chat has suddenly gone very quiet. Those are some chunky wings. Yes. Those are some beautiful wings. Uh, the Mussarana. The Mark 5A. This is the follow-up to the uh, Mark 4A that we saw during uh, the last stream, which had a weird control reversal going on and I'm not sure why that was okay this is different gone as sort of the tail boom sort of the tail boom craft and now we just have ridiculous wing But again, I like it. I don't even see any tumbleweeds in the chat. Wings. Just wings. Yes, the, mus the Musarana Mark 5A by Randaped. And Legged Lack Kerman will be in our final one. What did we think of today's uh, today's videos, guys, by the way? It's just something um I wanted to do a helicopter t t tutorial, but I didn't want I didn't know really how to go through all the subject matter, so I just decided I'd just do a step by step recreation of my Hawk Moth. I don't know what people thought. Uh, any feedback is welcome. Ooh. Slight dihedral on the wings. Is that the dihedral or the anhedral? I think that's dihedral. The one where it points down. Anyway. Yes. Get rid of you. Bring up you. Switch teams. Not watching my time to. Once again, I'm going to be rather peeved. Plane must have dropped Red Bull. Right. Let's start the competition. Okay, they're away quickly.
Right. I would like to like to point out yet again that they did not do this on my save. Belkit is proud. Right, let's um Okay. We've got control reversal going on again. What was it being controlled from then? What was going on there? There we go. Okay, these things can... Yeah, these things have got some serious speed. Not a lot of stability, though. One of them is fine. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. Oh, come on. I have to leave about 15. That's fine. I'm sure you're doing it's quite good, but you should warn people that the issue with single road isn't just difficult to get working. It's completely bugged and maybe impossible to fix. Yeah. This whole series of craft is just cursed. I think the one with the towel boom would have worked well if we'd spotted the control reversal. Okay. Let's go, let's try this one again. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's such a squat aircraft. This one, I'm gonna take the autopilot off. I'm gonna try taking this up to altitude. Where's the other one gone? Oh Christ, that did not take much. Oh, that really does not take much to flip this thing out. Okay, let's go for the pilot again. Okay, that seems to be... That seems to have it kind of sorted now. Not really. Okay. Kind of has it sorted now. Getting missiles away. Not really. Oh, for goodness sake. Kind of feel sorry for the XO one at this point because it's not getting much screen time with what with us just trying to fix uh, fix the Mark uh, Mark Five A. Oh, but they are managing to get missiles away. 
trying to get a sneaky revenge kill. Look at that, Kerman is just going to sit there while Josh Kerman fires missiles. Yeah. It really, really, really is turning into one of those streams. It just... Uh, so I have to keep the uh, COL behind the COM normally. I don't know what it. I don't know what it is, uh, Randa. I really don't know what it is. My apologies. I mean, they are quite squat. I was looking at them, wondering how's how's that vertical stability gonna gonna work. And in fact, the lateral stability a little bit as well. Hmm. Um, sadly, though, we do have to move on. A good win for Luna's X01 there. And uh, um, another another step in the development cycle of the Maserana. X O one too good, indeed, indeed. It's one of those weird things, Rand. I don't know what went wrong there, but some craft do just seem to just. As soon as I load them in, something bugs out. I'm not sure if it's a mod I've got or just my version of KSP. Something got tweaked in a config file ages ago and hasn't been fixed through updating. God knows what it is. Um, so next up, I'm going to take a quick look at Big Boy SM, Big Boy's SMFM 8F Stormhawk. I've got a craft called us the Stormhawk. Um, Versus Sandemur's Tadpole Mark One. I. I just want to take a quick look at the Tadpole. Just make sure this is a fair fight. Yeah, I think this will be fine. Hmm, just the one control surface, set of control surfaces doing both pitch and roll. It's this, surface mounted air brake. I think I might turn that active on the yaw. something turn these down to something like 20 because otherwise otherwise this thing has gonna is gonna have no your stability whatsoever how quickly can it deploy so it'll give us a little bit of something and we've got another pair on the wall I'll, I'll leave the ones down there alone just so we do have one set of them that's that's um yeah, yours is for when it's sideways. So, um, but without any other control surfaces for your, I think I am going to set those. It never used to happen. I only started doing it with a series of craft. I don't know. I just look at this and I worry about the roll stability here. I just, I just, I just, because Sandema was saying, that, you know, it can be. Unstable, they can have some your instability. I just, I just want something. Cognitive instinct. Oh, I prefer using elevons for air brakes. Uh, for air brakes for the actuation speed. That's very true. That is very true. Um, I 
And the thing is, the time it takes to deploy anyway, that's not really going to make much of a difference. Let's let's get this. I'm going to quickly save my slightly altered edition. Um, let's believe in his engineering. Not just your instability, major instability of all axes. Um, well, hopefully that should hope help a little bit with the your instability. Um, I can't see why you'd get maybe a little bit with the pitch stability, but the roll stability, the roll stability, you should be fine. Anyway, yes, let's. Um, Let's kit up. Uh, let's kit up and get fighting. The Stormwriter, hello! God help us. You also get witch hunted for using them too. See you, Spartanicus! It's differential thrust and angled air on, it's like the B2 spirit for your. Yeah. So I'm just thinking in my head about how I'd how I'd get this get this flying maybe a little bit better. I don't know. Differential thrust kind of works. I think a lot of flying wing type designs they just used. They just tended to use like the passive stability in terms of your stability. They just used to use like the passive stability you get anyway, just because they were normally swept back. And so, if you would yaw, if you'd start to yaw into the airstream, just that wing would present would get much more drag, and so it would just it would correct itself. But those those weren't. I mean, to put it mildly, those were not fighters. Actually, no. I want to move you forward, don't I? That was sort of like your long-range, slower bomber aircraft. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't know how to avoid slip properly. I could guess at the hell. Move the simulation slip. Huh, I'll have to I'll have to look at that. I don't know why I suddenly stopped to read that in minute detail. Helicopters are immense amounts immense amounts of fun though. Uh, Smith of context asked what is wrong with P wings and he said that doesn't know why. Yeah, there seems to be there seems to be a lot of um, controversy about P wings. Some people are saying they're sort of kind of overpowered. Um, so that's why they were restricted. That's why they were heavily restricted in the last season of uh, when I did uh, fighter subscriber the teams. Um, but I will have to do some more research into it before before we go into the um, the next the next uh, the next subscriber based competition. So what are we, what are we after the SMFM eight F Stormhawk? Got to the bottom of this, so we go to the top of the list and ghosty. Airplane broken. A lot of abuse.
I think I think it's one. It might be one of those things, like a lot of mods. It's one of those things where sort of in the right hands. And unfortunately, or in the wrong hands, depending on your perspective on this. And sadly, that tends to mean you have to just say, uh, we're not going to have them. Josh Kerman. Question, should I make an attack helix? Sander, if you want to give it a go, maybe you... May, if, if only there was some sort of tutorial you could follow along with. Maybe a step-by-step -step recreation of an existing helicopter. Um, yeah, but feel free. I mean, the AI... I don't even know why I put the AI on the damn thing, because it doesn't really do much. I mean, I did when I first did the attack helicopter, I did a video sort of test, well sort of a, an introduction video to it, and I did a did a thing in that where I just put the AI on and see, tried to see what would happen. It it didn't go that well. Vessel switcher, teams, let's, let's get this going. Start competition. You tap on Mark 1 using the whiplash engines. They take a little while to spin up. It looks like they are getting somewhere now, though. Taking off there beautifully. 500 metres again, so... Steep Kerman, Stormhawk. I'm going to give that a little bit of help. To get up to altitude, just because it's takes them an age otherwise. Seems to be flying alright at the moment. I just want to see if... Yeah, you can see it's using it for your now. On the competition starts. They come around. I think the Stormhawks have got the better of them in turning around to get missiles away. Yep. Plenty of missiles away. Just the AIM-9s left for the, uh, for the Stormhawks. Popping plenty of countermeasures. I think the uh, the tadpoles are relying on speed for that missile evasion. The stormhawks, though, barreling in, closing the distance. Still a fair distance away, though. Ghosty Kerman. Just yeah. The other stormhawk going in with the missiles. Ghosty Kerman lines up a shot with a couple of sidewinders. Um, doesn't look like they're having much impact. One of the tadpoles has gone. I think that was some missile damage. Steak Kerman's craft is heavily damaged. There's a lot of battle damage smoke coming off of it. Yeah. A little bit of your instability, but not bad, actually. Um, the gunfire just continues to rain in. I think it's lost. I think battle damage has rendered these ineffective. Battle damage has rendered something ineffective, and it's not. it's not looking too good. Yeah, just the other craft coming in just to just to batter it, and that's yeah. So the Stormhawks of Victorious. I did like the tag. I think the tadpole is okay. I think it just needs that little that little something. Uh, hello, comrade five oh one. It is yeah, twenty two past twenty two minutes past eight for me at the moment. What's the centre of lift and centre of mass on this thing? Cause you could almost take that a little bit closer to get mm. I'd almost be tempted to just have a little something here on the back of this tail boom. Not a lot. Where are the tiny little... Uh, 
something like that to help with the yaw stability and then I just get like some really small I mean nothing I probably wouldn't do something that big but something like oh that doesn't look good maybe something a little bit smaller but that kind of idea and then just set the probably you wouldn't need much just a little something like that like because it the flying wing design is is good but i think it just it just particularly with that turning speed it's got i think it's got the wing area i think it's got the wing area but it just needs that little bit more oomph in the turn and just that little bit more yaw stability although i do i do kind of like the idea of using air brakes for the yaw stability i mean the the ai did seem to manage it okay mm, i like this craft looks wise i love this craft and it was that there. Structural Fuselage Junior. Anyway, we do need to move on. What do we have next? Yes. It, it is a flying wing. Oh, it's a... Uh... Not control. I, I I know, but I mean there are there are there are flying wings that use air brakes for 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 your control. So you know it's it's one of those things. <laughs> Fair enough, Bard Narden. Fair enough. I know it's a flying wing, but I just I just think uh, I think certainly you need. You need some more control surfaces getting it to getting it to getting it to um getting it to pitch. Anyway, that's just that's just my input. Make 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 of it what you will. My game is really slowing to a crawl there. Uh, Kitmaster. So yes, next up we have Aramo 707's Kitmaster Mark 11. Yes, this will be going up against Bard Narden's resubmitted CR13 XF Falcon because, as he's just said, everything he designed for this one didn't work quite so well. Oh. I love that little trick. I love that. I love putting like <laughs> sticking the gaways just out of out of an air intake like that. Ah oh, dear. Nice. Nice. Oh, and the uh, the two engine prequel. How do I get? What landing gear is that? You can actually click on the damn landing gear. Where does it end? Where does it start? Oh, who cares? Obviously, it's somewhere in my um. It'll be somewhere in the thing. But yeah, a little bit of the old, uh, little bit of the old Harrier in that. That's nice. That is nice. Let's get uh who 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 did we have last time? Who did we stick in last time? Are we up to the start again? Uh you try hanging a thick quilt around your setup to reduce noise, maybe even in, in green for a green screen. Could green screen. Ethan Burton, hello to you. I heard the chat was interesting. I heard the chat was interesting, I figured I'd join. Well Hello to you. Yeah, we're um Yeah, we're talking about talking about a lot of things. Whether um, uh, procedural wings are OP and um, how to balance flying wings and yada 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 and sticking gaw eights out of air intakes. 
where did I where did I get up to? Where did I get up to with the uh, with the subscriber kerbals? And can it run Crisis? <laughs> oh dear. Where did I get up to with the? I'm going to cheat slightly. Give me a second. I can only watch it back. Hang on, hang on. Luna Kerman, right. Slightly cheating maybe, but I've just used my own chat replay window to work out who was actually doing it. So Luna Kerman, so then we must have been Ghosty and Josh, so this must be Ion Kerman's turn. So called his budget solution. Uh, can't take off vertical. No. And setting up a, a VTOL in, in KSP can be a bit of a pain in the backside. It's one of those things. Uh, it's, Chat mod go brr. That's <laughs> with the GTA SA jet plane. Oh yeah, that because that was oh, what do they call it? It was it was basically you know a Harrier, but they didn't call it a Harrier. That's something I hope we get with um, KSP two, or at least a capability which people can then turn into a mod for KSP two is just some more advanced well the the ability to have some more advanced AIs which can cope with things like keeping um keeping a VTOL stable. I think having more than one throttle would be handy as well. The Hydra, yes. That was fantastic. Your back gear and increase your thrust. <laughs> Oh yeah, you could listen to the radio. I'm sure that was actually in the feature of the normal Harrier. Uh, Kitmaster Mark. Kitmaster Mark 11 and we are going to want a uh, leg of that Kerman. And then you can go to the Red Hydra that can outturn you. And missiles per target to three for my craft, as I forgot to make that change. Um, yeah, sure. We, this is this is the same craft you sent in last week. So, oh yeah, I suppose if you forgot to make the change for last week, then that would make sense, wouldn't it, Smith? Well done, me. Let's get this down. Okay, and Bard Nardens a. I don't like to do repeats on this channel, but yeah, Bard Narden CR thirteen XF Falcon, which I remember was a, a pretty good craft. Uh, CRF X Falcon, and then Luna Kerman. And then Steve Kerman. Oh, 
San Andreas. That was that was a great game. That was an absolutely great game. I don't know why, but GTA 4, I just I felt it lacked a certain something. Do you know? Uh, these are already on different teams. That one's turning quite a lot, so I'm just going to try and turn that back. Right. F5. Let's get going with this. Aramo 707's Kitmaster Mark 11 versus Bardnard and CR 13 XF Falcon. Two number nines, number nine larger, that's ridiculous. So you're playing through Discord. Oh, yes, so you did. Concerning source. We'll just take a look at that in a second. Nudge me if I forget. Are these using the, um... The hell was that? Um, um, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's absolutely fine. I think the problem is these are still climbing. What's the default altitude? 8,900. No, we're going to be waiting here all day if we do that. We just need to get this thing out. I'm just... Uh, these things, both of them shredded their own tail tail booms with the heat of their engines so I don't think that's a fixable thing uh, straight off the bat how far away are these things now are you still trying to follow I can fix it in five minutes okay We shall return for that fight a little bit later. That's a point. That's a very good point. Thank you for that concerning source. Um, I just lost the thing. Jacob, you sent me the JA. Yeah, that's a point. We can just turn off turn off the the thing, the thing with the stuff. You know. Uh, per target same with micro. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What's in the skies that I can't complain? Oh, it's a mailbag coming. <laughs> Fix it in five minutes. I I will see if I can cheat mode, cheat mode it out. Yeah, let's see if we can cheat mode this out. Uh, how are we do? Oh Christ. Uh, I, I normally like about halfway I like to like rattle the tin again but I've completely forgotten and we're now five-sixths of the way through the stream so 
Uh, Super Chat is enabled, or if you'd like to help support the stream, if sorry, Super Chat is enabled, if you'd like to help support the stream that way, support. Uh. Super Chat is enabled, if you'd like to help support the channel that way, or if you prefer other methods, there are also Patreon and PayPal links in the description. Thank you. Subscribe. Uh, patrons also get their own little patron kerbal. Uh. One of these craft has a high part count, doesn't it? How many parts is the Kitmaster RMO? Oh, and Jacob, uh, Jacob Sivitson, do you prefer Jacob Sivitson or do you prefer Concerning Source? Cheats. Uh, ignore max temperature. Right. Start competition. It's gone pausey pausey. I don't know why it's gone pausey pausey. Around soon, so see you. Uh, see you later, Vital. Uh, see you later, Ion. I don't know why I was about to call you Vitality Ion. We all know he was Ion. Uh, that's interesting. Why is my computer just pausing like that? What are you doing? What are you up to? Okay, so it's an improvement. So you're still following. Once again, I'm just going to notch this down so we're not here all day. Because the chasing craft is having a lot of difficulty catching up. Kitmasters around reasonably quickly. Oh! Oh, crap. Default missiles, missiles per target, missiles per target, missiles per target, missiles per target, missiles per target. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh my god, one of the kit masters has gone already. Get rid of that. CR 13. So they're not doing badly. <laughs> Yeah, this thing would be dead if I didn't have the cheats on. Going for the aim 9, so missiles per target, 10. Missiles incoming, though. Ion Kerman tries to break off as quickly as he can. Does manage to dodge the missiles there. Looks like the CR-13s have done likewise. Sneak Kerman now coming in. Going in with guns, I think. The four GAU-8s. Oh, we've got to see this. We've got to see this. Ion Kerman, poor Ion Kerman is about to have eight gau eights. Oh, look at that! Did you see the electrical damage there? That is a nice little effect. Nice! So, victory for the CR 13 XF Falcons! Uh, I think it's another Swedish person. That's the Swedish name is way funnier than my Discord username. I do I do like your username though. Uh, do, 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 do. What am I being buzzed about? I have no idea. Something or other. Thank God it didn't crash. Yeah, that was a bit weird at times. I don't know why the game was stalling quite that much. Um, what were we going to do? Right, I think I've got two more fights, and I know what I'm going to do for them. 
so I just had an itchy ear. Nineteen concurrent views, twenty three likes. Thank you very much, everybody. Four gates in action. Yes, I can't remember what it was. We had one. We had one craft. Occasionally, you get craft like that in the stream and have like eight gowates or something. <laughs> and they, sadly, it's like the one with the eight gowates is never, never really gets gets to the point where it can just really rain the fire in on the other craft. It's like, ah. Oh. Thank you very much, Arpato92. I don't think I've said hello to you, Arpato92. I don't think I said hello when you when you gave your first thing. I give up with craft now. <laughs> Burt Reynolds. Oh yes, you sent me the Burt Reynolds, didn't you? Did we get round to the Burt Reynolds? I think we did. I think we did see it. Or did we? Hold my beer. <laughs> Uh, is air cruiser going to be a thing in air cruiser? <laughs> right, this game is slowing down something. Ooh, not not too bad so oh god yeah okay that is slowing down quite a lot this now somewhere on the old list. So this is one of Ben Aaron's craft we never got round to. Oh, God. That's... That's... Ah. I mean, yeah, I mean, nice, but it's going to give me nightmares. No, nope, wrong one. Uh, do, 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 So, through there like that, so Ghosty Kerman. Is this a smart bird? <laughs> yeah. meant to actually be a decent fighter. Did I not get round to your uh, Burt Reynolds? I'm sorry, Cognitive Instinct. Ah! How am I going to fit... Am I going to be able to fit that in? Ugh. It's just trying to fit these in. I mean, ben Aaron's X5, that was... That was two or three uh, mailbag streams ago, and I'm just sort of fitting it in now. Um... I think it's fine. I think I have a better one by the next mailbag. Hmm. Uh, 
right I don't need to worry about placement you're not making a video you don't need to worry about placement but I never got around to raising the missiles per target I, t I, I find two is a pretty good number and I stick four AMRAM I, I my current current preferred missile loadout is four AMRAMs, six Sidewinders, and then just put two missiles per target. Something I discussed during the uh, the weapon experiments video. I haven't actually done the live uh, uh, a mailbag stream since I did the weapon ex the missiles uh, weapons experiments video. Yeah, it's keep it keeping the opponent on the back foot can be can be advantageous. I tried to demonstrate there, but when are we getting around to opening the mailbag that dropped eight minutes ago? So it's currently like I think at number four, the one that crashed into the ground in um, in a, in a fit of flames. Oh, oh crap! I've been getting new craft in the mailbag. X ninety four singularity. Uh that might have to those might have to wait till the next mailbag it's just i'm sorry guys just with the way this stream started it's not <laughs> it's not been ideal um my apologies for that was that ion or who who sent me that one ion or the luna sent me that one okay Uh, so I'm hoping this is going to be a worthy adversary for so it's Ben Aaron's X5. I hope this is going to be a worthy adversary for Action's FASA Infinity OP. Oh, it's got the laser. Yeah, you're right about the OP. I think I might disable the laser. Just, just to just, to, so that this fight lasts longer than 30 seconds. But it's also got the repulsor cannon. Oh, I so want to see that in use. Sounds a bit better than me like laser. Uh, I think we're going to have to disable it just just so the fight lasts. Just isn't over like that. Because I do want, I want to see these things a dogfight. I really do. Um. Just looking at look at both these craft, I just look at them and think, oh, I just so want to see what happens when these things get up close and personal. Ah, the Infinity OP. Oh crap, Titan had a craft. He's, um, I still haven't had a look, had a look at either. Ugh. Left over from another stream. Oh god. Could set it to engage missile only. Ooh, that's an idea. Thank you, Arpato92. That's a good idea. What's that? Smoke countermeasure. Wow, this thing has everything. I'll set this to engage missile only. As I said, because I really, really want to see these things. It's got the repulsor cannons. Uh. FFAR launcher. Oh my god. This is. What are they? EU Mika IR missile.
Let's see what let's let's see what happens. As I said, I just I just because what well, if the lasers are on, they're just they're just going to take the X fives apart. That's you know we've seen that happen. The only time I really want lasers on are if it's a laser armed versus laser armed. Um, fight. Because um, otherwise, you know, you, you know the result. The result of the fight's going to be. But this. Is, oh, okay. Yes, the X5 cross swings got. Are they using the the drop time trick? I think they are using the drop time trick. I did get that from Ben Ben, um, ben Aaron in the first place, by the way. So, in case you're wondering, he's using the he's using the drop time trick that was on the um, was on the video the other day. Yeah, I got that from Ben Aaron, and finally, I have a chance to credit him properly. Going for the for um, some missiles, I have no idea what those are. <laughs> the gunfire of rains in. What is the X5? It's the Gowates, armed with Gowates. Lining up the shot. I want to see the repulsor cannons in a dogfight. Coming again around with the Gowates. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I think we're going to turn the laser on. I think we are going to turn the laser on. Um, it's it's kind of all the way over there now. These things are insane. Well, both the craft are insane. That's the problem when you put two insane craft up against each other. You do not, not know what's going to happen. Drop time trick doesn't work anymore since the flames will start avoiding them. So when it's five seconds to impact. Uh, hey, Arpato ninety two. There was um. Yeah, there was uh, a video I did. Not the one today. What last week? Last weekend's video, which was talking about. Different things you can do to your missiles to improve them. Ah, oh, dear. I should have. I might have handled that fight a little bit better, but uh, we need to get moving because uh, there is there's at least one more fight I want to fit in. That goes the laser. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. I've got uh, a message. He who watches. For the mailbag. Oh yes. Um, hang on. God, I've got people sending me craft last minute. Uh, I'm afraid they're not going to be able to get it into the. Um, I sent you a craft if they're tired. You he who's he who watches, Adam Hen Adam Henderson. If so, we you know we. Uh, I think we're going to have. Uh, oh god. Titan, did I not did I not do your Lekin 100 last time? Um and we are going to have uh do, 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 do. Right, uh, Jacob Sivetson's JA01. I'm going to draw for the Steam version. Beans are good! Hello, beans! I think, yeah, I think I need to do some sort of like a series of tutorials that are kind of right from the very beginning. You answered the United Arctic Nations, and you manufactured every craft I've sent you so far. Nice! I presume a rival to the um, Territorial Arctic Protection Entente. I just wonder who gets that particular reference. 
Uh, XF. Let's go with the XF Cool Ranch. It's going to be down here, isn't it? Past the... Nice. Small boy. That is... I like that. Hmm. Where are the guns? Uh, oh, the yeah, air Vulcans there. Okay. He cute. Uh, radar cross section. That's a that's a bit weird. Worst three aspects. Huh. Uh, in the top of the wind, yes. Those were the worst three aspects. I don't know if it does, if it bases on that. Because I said when I click. I clicked on that, it says um, worst three aspects rather than. I mean, it's got. It, it's The radar cross section's lower than all three of those, so I assume that for, for the actual cross section, it's, it's it actually is using front, side, and back. Over here, it's 1.25 meter. What's going on? Why? Uh, do, 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 tracked at four, lock tracked four kilometers and closer. I don't know what it's doing, although that that is looking quite good. I'm not sure, and unfortunately, I don't really have time to bug fix at the moment. Yeah. Our crew. Who did we do last time? Was it Ghosty through to. Uh... Well, Luna, Luna comes getting the flight regardless. Titan, are you are you still you still knocking about there? Adam Henderson, also Adam Henderson, are you he who watches on the um, on the Discord? Air cruiser with a cannon. I like the sound of air cruiser with a cannon. Yes, okay. I think we'll have to get your I put your marked your message as unread, so I'll know that's for next time. I like this one. I know I say that a lot. I, I like a lot of the vessels I got. I get. Anything that's a bit unusual or a bit sleek or a bit spiky or I'm easily pleased basically. Uh, 
bit of more crazy stuff next time. Uh, I have an aircraft fighter that uses an underslung howitzer. The only craft I've seen that I that actually uses a howitzer to good effect was it the mean ball. Yeah, I got sent one that was interesting to watch. We'll just put it like that. Tiny and cute, huge and bulky, just, yeah. I think it is a bit more impressive, though, if you manage to pack sort of a, a, a just this... If you manage to pack a lot of death dealing into a small space, though, I think that's, that's just, there's something more just pleasing about that. Two air crews and one battleship in development. One air cruiser ready. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Uh, ooh, I don't remember what I meant to say. Uh, apologies about being a bit slow um, to uh, reply to comments. It's just been, it's just been a little bit hectic this week. Smith, yeah, I think it's just Son of Smith. I'll have to double check. You can go back on the live stream and see if there's um, and see if it will tell you there, because the live stream should still be up. And if you have trouble finding, it, it should be in the the actual the first plays stream, first plays streams playlist. So this is the JA1 by Jacob Sivertson, or uh, concerning source. Can you increase the missiles per target to six? Yes, I can. Just let me get these down and hope I don't forget to alter the missiles per target again. <laughs> I think this is going to have to be the last fight. My apologies to everybody whose craft I didn't get round to. Um, we will... Tr I'll try my hardest to get round to them uh, next time. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Both of these look really good. They do! These are two good-looking craft. The more conventional uh, JA uh, JA one and the slightly more unconventional, well, not unconventional in that sense. Missiles per target to six. Uh, team team guard mode. Right. This whole thing should be down again. So thank you. No problem. Dust in space. Hello. Just saw your streaming. I we've already done your craft. Um, it didn't really get to do much fighting. I, I suppose technically it won its fight. Um, yeah. So I you you were pretty much the first person to send nothing in. Um, so I I put your craft um, made your craft the thumbnail craft. Get rid of vessel mover. Just quick save again, just to make sure, and we'll start this competition. But hello to you, Dustin. Ooh, a little bit avoid collision there. Wow, a little bit of wobbling on the old. Look at the pitch. Okay, let's go see how the JA the JA ones are. Okay, this guy needs some help getting up to the 500 meters, clearly. Oh, that's some stability issues. That is some stability issues. Oh, and we're starting. I missed that completely. Josh Kerman barreling down. It can't, yeah, he can't get a lock. I don't think, oh, is he just going for the guns straight away? 
I don't think you get a lock. I think I think the stealth is working. As I said, I think on the display it said it, it said it said that our craft can't can only get a lock on the XF Cool Ranch from like four kilometres away. But now both these craft are up close and personal, and I think the JA1 has, as I said, looks like got some stability issues, which looks like it's going to cost cost it here. Josh Kerman, you can see the control surface is going. Still, still trying to fly that thing down to the ground because that's that's what a good navy pilot, a good navy man, always does. Some heavy battle damage smoke coming off of this craft, though. Some really heavy battle damage crap. Oh crap! Ah, oh, I clicked off the screen. I clicked off the screen, and now the fight's over. And they're both coming around. They are both coming around. Ouch. Yeah, I think I think the stealth did work. I honestly I think the stealth did work there. What what is that for the smoke? Uh the smoke it's it's just it's just BD armory. Because if you go if you put battle damage on if I turn battle damage on, you'll notice a whole section appears here. And I can get fires and ammunition explosion. And um, say, for instance, fuel tank damage. If someone hits a fuel tank and it's leaking, the smoke will start coming out. So that's that's just that's just um, that's sort of just the latest versions of BD Armory when you turn battle damage on. That's all that is. Uh so those of us in air battleship, check which is similar. Uh, Seeing how stealthy this thing is from the front. Yeah, you just have to turn on battle damage, and you'll get the uh, you'll get the smoke coming out. You'll get the smoke whenever whenever there is an active battle damage effect on a part, it'll start producing smoke. Um, yeah, these things are insane. And there's only one thing to do in that case. Oh, did they just run out of fuel? <laughs> and the, the other one just runs out of fuel there. <laughs> well, that was lucky for Steak Kerman. Do you still have an AIM-9? Can I take this as off of autopilot? Can I get you going down there? Oh, guard mode is still going at it. <laughs> Bounced and the sidewinder got him. Ah, uh, sorry, got her because that would have been Luna. Let's see if I can land this thing. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Anything you can walk away from and all that. I'm happy with the cool ranch, yes. <clears throat> um, I will host anything that is not deliberately broken beyond belief. Yeah, kind of that. Um, Mailbag has exactly no rules. It's, because I mean, there was the fight earlier where there was a laser craft versus a non-laser craft and I, um, I decided to turn the laser off apart from uh, missile countermeasures because that's just that that fight was only going to go one way with that laser and so I turned it off um, you see my chat messages Smith uh, yes I have um, to play some custom battles with you if you do another world I'm not sure what I'm doing <clears throat> that's another that's a point so yeah the moment we've done so far, first play streams I've done just quickly. I've done three cra. I've done three games, sort of, which are 
you know, which have involved subscribers getting in on the action. And that's uh, Among Us, War Thunder, and Rocket League. And I'm sort of thinking of trying to fit in a regular games night where we just we sort of, I just live stream us in this maybe sort of hour of one thing and an hour of another thing. Um, we'll have to see though, because I enjoyed those. I did enjoy those. Um, Rocket League last time was awesome. Anyway, I think we will have to end it there. Thank you so much for coming along and watching, everybody. Thank you very much to Lego Lack for the uh, for the super chat there. Um, I did. I have seen your messages, Sandima. Um Another happy landing, indeed. So yes, during the week, City Skylines videos. The next two, I've kind of got the hang of editing them. Uh, so it's episodes thirteen and fourteen. Um, I'll send in the, in the next mailbag. Um, do that, Steak. I'm looking forward to it. Um, what was I trying to say? Yes, episode 13 and 14. 13, I've kind of got the hang of editing them now. 13's, I think, the best ever episode I've put together so far. 14, I try and do something new, so I'd like your feedback on those. But I think they're, episode 13 and 14 of the City Skyline series are the best I have done so far, so would appreciate some feedback. Um, next Saturday, another BD Armory video, uh, if I work out what I'm doing for it. And of course, next Saturday evening, there will be a first plays stream. The weekend after that, I am not here because it's the little one's first birthday weekend. So I'll be doing something, but in hopefully in three weeks time, we will return with another mailbag. So uh, look forward to that. I better get off and take care of some uh, other things. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you to everybody who sent in a craft. Again, my apologies if I didn't get round to it. Uh, if there is um, stuff left over, I will try my hardest to fit them into the next stream. We did. Um, uh, yeah, we did have. Yeah, it was a particularly difficult stream, especially with the faff at the beginning but um yeah sometimes that's just the way it goes and my inability to speak didn't didn't really help either but yes um yeah more stuff during the week more stuff next weekend uh, until then thanks for watching take care and i'll see you next time <laughs>